Hello, not say bonjour, good morning. I'm Dallas Arcan, and I'd like to welcome you to another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. So good morning, everybody out there. Uh, I'm about six minutes behind schedule this morning. Well, not really, I just came from my jog, and uh, well, I don't really get good signal on my jog, so I didn't share that part. But part of this class is about fitness and aerobics. So um, I'm gonna make a little suggestion today that maybe before every class, we'll do a little little warm up jog before we get into the warm up dance. You know, because I've been doing this quite uh, consistent the whole time, but uh, what I haven't been doing is doing the jogs. Like I said, I live out on the res, can't always jog on a rainy day and it's all muddy out there. You get your shoes full of mud or anything like that. Uh, winter time is a little bit easier because the ground's harder, it's frozen, and you can you can bundle up and go for a jog. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. So good morning, everybody. It's another day. It's uh, Taco Tuesday, and uh, if you guys uh, know what Taco Tuesday is, well, all across the nation, Canada and U.S., we have Taco Tuesday everywhere. And uh, if you know about the Indian taco, let me tell you about the Indian taco. It's first of all, it's not from India. <laughs> and then second of all, uh, they call it an Indian taco because they basically use the same ingredients that they do to make the tacos, but it, the only catch of it all is they use a big slab of bannock, as you, as some of you may know what an Indian taco is. Uh, we, we actually make them here sometimes at home, but uh, being on the powwow trail, that's what I, I imagine a lot of us miss if you know what an Indian taco is. Indian taco is... is, is I don't know, it's just like this big, huge fry bread. It takes up a whole plate, and they just pile it on with hamburger, everything, all the ingredients. And yeah, it's it's one of those one of those flavor faves that uh, that many of us have experienced and liked before. And I've been to many powwows, and that's how I reward myself, actually, after uh, a good, a good uh, day of dancing or whatever, a good weekend of dancing. So anyways, I'm just... Uh, Reflecting back from yesterday, uh, yesterday I actually went to the lake with my girlfriend and her sons and it had a beautiful time. It was kind of my reward for doing yard work and hard work all day and you know that's kind of what I've, I've taught myself to do all along. Like I remember when I was younger I, I would, I, you know, I used to hate doing some labor jobs or hard hard work sometimes and I remember being a young kid one of the jobs, a lot of the jobs you get when you're a kid just kind of suck. You know, I remember being in, um, in, a, in a silo, they call them, right? And uh, uh, my uncle used to work for the farm out here, the farm trust. And I used to be in there shoveling grain in the dust while this thing was uh, uh, spitting out the grain. And, and I remember having jobs like that. And one of the things, one of the techniques that I used, though, was to reward myself after after doing such a job so you know i call that uh you know good, sort of gratification for for putting in the uh the effort and the work that you need to do to push forward you know and i've, I've done this a lot of times like even when i go hunting you know part of my gratification is i get dry meat i get real good wild meat after you know there's always got to be a reward in something you do and you know, that's, uh, you know, I've, what I've been struggling with lately in the past few months or actually this phase of my life, I'm try I've been trying to find something that I'm a lot more emotionally compelling and connected to and passionate about, you know, finding your passion in life is important. So, you know, part of that work hard or work smart, work hard routine is about finding your passion. So that's what I was kind of writing today's quote like i don't know if it's gonna make any sense to any of you but i was just thinking that the whole time you know because you know when you work you got to have something to look forward to at the end of your day you got to have like something to reward yourself for all your efforts it's uh the the, the same concept applies like uh for example if you've ever read rich dad poor dad it's a it's a book that kind of talks about those things where you got to pay yourself first like when you make money and then reward yourself before you pay everybody else, before you pay all your bills, you gotta pay you first because you're the workhorse. You're the one that's that's doing all the work and all the effort. So that's what I call work smart and work hard, you know? And also play smart and, and you know, play a little bit hard, but not too hard because, 
You know, you play a little bit too hard, you could get hurt. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I was watching on the news this morning. There is this uh, young native couple from Saskatchewan. Um, they, they were part of that bus rollover there in Jasper National Park. And such a tragic event, you know, like people are just going out there to enjoy themselves and enjoy the mountain. And then all of a sudden the bus rolls over. And, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of thoughts that I had in mind to that, you know, like, you know, because for many years they've driven on that mountain and has anybody ever made any offerings to that mountain? You know, is, is there any connection to the land? You know, that's the one thing that sticks in my mind and, and I think about when stuff like that happens, you know, because when I was growing up, you know, like, and whenever I go hunting, we always make offerings to the land. We always offer tobacco. We always give that and say a prayer for our safe passage through that way. Now, was any of those protocols ever followed? Now, is this the time for recon reconciliation where indigenous thoughts and ideas can be implemented into such things like that when you're out there in tourism, especially, you know, when you're going out there and, and being on the land is, is those kinds of things going to be considered in the future? You know, now that uh, indigenous people and, you know, as, as Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter is, is a whole movement that's including indigenous people. Is those kinds of things going to happen now in our society? Is, uh, are they going to start considering indigenous protocol? You know, like make an offering, say a prayer to the mountain. You know, if you're going to go up the mountains, you know, make, make a relationship with the water, with the land, with the trees, with everything around you. You know, and that's really important. So, you know, I, that's why I felt it was like really important to go for a jog this morning and connect and reflect and just get out there in the land. And, you know, I just thought I would share that little bit of information. So anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to get right to it and read my quote. You know, I, I kind of just get off on a, on, on, a, on a riff there and just talk about, you know, the, the subject matter. And, you know, it's, it's really kind of a tricky subject. So anyways, the quote I wrote today is, uh, it's kind of geared in that direction. So the quote goes, work smart, work hardly, play smart, play safe. Life is precious, so you must manage the risk and re risks and rewards. A smart work plan will always include a reward for yourself, for your efforts, and when you play, apply the same principles. Playing doesn't mean you can't have fun, it just ensures that you can have more fun in the future. So there, there's my quote for the day. And you, if you're watching earlier, um, you know, thank you, because I was kind of speaking on that, you know, and how that we start, we got to start building that relationship with the land and, you know, maybe less accidents will happen on the land, you know, and my thoughts and prayers and condolences go to those families out there that, that have lost loved ones in, in that, that recent accident. And, you know, to all the people out there that has, have lost family members, you know, just out having a good time and, you know, next thing you know, a bus rolls over and uh, something happens and, you know, that's sad, but unfortunate. And, you know, that's why we got to remember to have a relationship with the land, you know, say those prayers, offer those tobacco, offer that, that offering and, and give that when, when you're out there. And that's another way to be safe and to play safe when you're out on the land to just say a little prayer to the grandfathers, to, to all the, 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 the beings in that, in that process. So, um, I'm, I'm going to actually use one of my own songs today for the warm-up song, and then I'm going to get into some powwow dancing part. And I, I'm still going to do some, I'm just going to use one of my own songs from the DJ Crazy Cree CD. And the song I'm going to use is called Akimemo. Akimemo is the Cree word for perseverance. And this song was first brought to me by my cousin Stan Arcan Jr. So it features him on the track. And um, as you know, I wear another hat, I'm DJ Crazy Cree, and uh, you know, I kind of mix my music and I mix my dancing together and kind of marry them as one. So anyways, without further ado, here we go. We're gonna get into some dancing with the song Akamemo. So I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get moving and get grooving. Welcome, good morning, and welcome to Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Hoka, shout out to Social Distance Pow Wow. All my friends over there, all my relatives, Hoka. Good morning. It's another beautiful day in indigenous country. And it's another beautiful day to be indigenous. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot to put on my bling. Here we go. Now we're happening. Hoka. All right, let's start that one. 
two steps. change it over to some powwow tunes some of your favorite powwow singers recorded by my good friend kurt young so kurt young if you're watching thank you so much and if you guys haven't seen kurt young you got to see this guy he's awesome he plays guitar he sings he writes songs he's currently on the radio indigenous music countdown you know check him out he's featured also on the social distance powwow page if you haven't had a chance to check them out on the social distance powwow and now we're going to get back into the warm-up part of this morning's program so if you're following along let's uh get into some dancing now and we started out with a kind of a contemporary song from my album and now we're going to get into some more traditional but kind of not so traditional steps but they are based off of traditional steps and that's why I call it powwow dance aerobics. This is what I do to stay in shape as a professional dancer, as a hoop dancer. I've been dancing for 
almost over 30 years now and it's been a beautiful beautiful journey as a as a dancer okay so let's get back into some dancing now and just get the body moving get the heart pumping and that's what it's all about here folks on power dance aerobics so good morning everybody one two three four five six seven eight one to the elders you know I know that people are all ages and all body types here so I'll try to just be more considerate for everybody else either way just have fun you know if you can't keep up to the speed that I'm going find your own rhythm because you've got your own dance beat right here your heart your heart is always the beat the drum beat that you follow and whatever beat or whatever rhythm that is just always follow your heart and you'll never go wrong it's so beautiful when you can connect with yourself in that way so thanks for joining everybody good morning welcome to powwow dance aerobics all right so let's do a little twist there get a little twisty in the hips you just kick your heels up like that so toe down heel up like that one and two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. warm-up and we did a warm-up already 
So those of you that are new here, welcome. This is a workout program that I do every day. And it's for everybody. It's rated E for everybody, including you, 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 everybody. Whatever ability you are, whatever nationality you are, whatever, if you're a power dancer or not, this workout routine is for you. Even if you're not a power dancer, and even if you are a professional power dancer, I encourage you to do this every morning. You know, even if it's on your own, it doesn't have to be with me. You know, just dance, dance your little hearts out. And, you know, because repetition is the mother of skill. And that's kind of what I've been teaching and sharing here all along. And, you know, in order to stay in shape as a dancer or to get in better shape or you get good at dancing, you basically just got to put the effort into it and you will improve your dancing. And I've seen it myself. I've improved and I've actually won some world championships just by doing this every morning and committing myself to working out every day and taking care of myself, taking care of my body. You know, I'm 41 years old and I certainly don't feel it most days. You know, especially when I go for a jog or whatever, I do like everyday things. I feel like I'm in really good shape, way better shape than I ever was when I was younger. And a lot of you have been sharing your stories with me as well and how this workout program has been helping you and rehabilitating yourself. Some of you have past injuries and it's really beautiful. And thanks for sharing those stories and your comments. Everybody's been sharing, sharing their comments and their story and their process and how this is helping them rehabilitate themselves and just get back in tune with your body. You know, because, you know, the, the old saying goes, YOLO, you only live once, but hey, you might as well live well. And if you only live once, you might as well take a crack at it and, you know, try to live your best life. So that's all I got to say to that. You know, because once upon a time, our ancestors, they lived off the land. They didn't have no McDonald's, no Wendy's, no Arby's. No fast foods, no grocery stores, nothing. The, the world was our oyster, so to speak. And our ancestors, they lived off of the land. They went hunting. They went and gathered their food. They processed their own foods. But nowadays, many of our people have been through a lot, through many, many generations of assimilation, colonial, colonialism, they call it and now I think it's time for our people to get back to our roots to hunt and to live off the land beautifully like we used to we have all the resources we have all the cars we have everything we have all the tools now we just have to put it in our hearts to live off the land to garden and cultivate our own foods and to invest in ourselves and our health because your health is your wealth you can have all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, you can't enjoy it. So that's all I would like to to share with you and and to share that. That's internally what makes my heart burn every day and burn for the, all the right reasons. And that's what I want to share with you. So now I'd like to invite you to the meditation portion of this program in which we take that journey within ourselves into our hearts and connect with ourselves and start to take care of our body and let the energy flow through nicely. And that's the beautiful part about stretching in the mornings and working out. So I'm just getting ready to stretch my wrists and that helps with the circulation. See, I kind of have a sore forearm and you know, probably because I was swimming hard yesterday or whatever, I don't know, but this is helping loosen up you know if you have injuries this helps to rehabilitate yourself when you stretch it helps to prepare you for the day to come because you never know what you're going to encounter in your day and there's a big difference from working out in the mornings to working out at night working out in the mornings you feel so much more energy throughout the day and your your blood is oxidized 
and you're just pretty much ready to take on the world when you exercise in the morning. So very important to do that as well. And you know, it's a big difference from working out at night. That's the end of your day. And you should be relaxing by then and enjoying the fruits of your labor. So right over left, left over right, like so. We're opening up the chest cavity and loosening up those shoulders. Now the next one is we're gonna lock our fingers together. Try to pull them apart, but don't actually pull them apart. This one will stretch nicely in the back of your shoulder blades, your upper back. And then from here, we just give it a nice little twist, like you're swinging something. This will help stretch the lower back, the lumbar area, the hips, all that. And all that combined works up to a very, very good stretch. I want to share that and how it's been helping me as well. So in the next one, we're gonna stretch our, our tricep and shoulder muscle. Keep your arms straight, pull it towards your chest like that. And you should feel that stretch nicely on your tricep and shoulder area. And typically you wanna do about 10 seconds per stretch. And since we warmed up earlier, it's now safe to stretch. So if you haven't warmed up yet, I definitely encourage you not to stretch so hard. Maybe do a little, little tiny bit of stretching, but it's always important to do the warm up first before you stretch. And warm up, I, we did this morning. I'm already sweating like crazy. Well, cause I got a sweater on, got a shirt on under this. So I'm making sure I'm getting my sweat on today. And sweating is another great way to relieve toxins in your body. So the next stretch we're gonna work on is our neck area. And basically just let the weight of your head do this stretch for you. And you go from left to right, like so. And typically you will only want about 10 seconds of stretching. So chin to chest. And this one, you basically just roll from left to right shoulder like that. And that should give you a nice balanced stretch. Stretch out those neck muscles, help the blood go to the brain so you can oxidize the, the brain and your thoughts can be really, really clear today. All right, next one, hand on your shoulder, lean away from it. And this stretches out your deltoid, your shoulder and your neck all at the same time. And it's beautiful and it, it just feels great. It just gives you that much more intense of a stretch. So now as we go on to the next and Basically, I do these stretches the same every day because, you know, in order to receive, receive or see results, you must repeat that same routine every day because, you know, repetition is the mother of skill. And in order to see results in yourself and in your progress, and many of you have been sharing that progress with me and how it's been helping you get stronger, get more agile, get more flexible, everything. You know, it, it does the body good. It, it just, you know, just illuminates the body. It just, you feel like you got this new superpower. This new superpower is called self-love and self-care. And thanks, thanks for doing it for you. And thanks for joining me. And this helps me by helping you. So thank you as well for joining, for those of you that have been following along. Okay, we're gonna continue on now. Next stretch, hands behind your head. We're gonna aim our elbow down to our knee, like so. And hold. This one stretches the side area as well as inside of the leg, the inner thigh, you should feel that on. You should feel that flex nicely in there. And oh, that feels so good, I love it. All right, next stretch. Make your uh, stance, plant your feet firmly in the ground, and from here, we just go from left to right, right to left, like so. And, you know, exercising on a daily basis is really important, you know, because a lot of, a lot of us, you know, we, everybody needs food, right? When you're hungry, you gotta eat, right? But what most people forget to do, or choose not to do, is exercise. So exercising is as important as eating and it should go hand in hand, you know, like should have somewhat of a routine, you know, because besides doing this, I get my exercise mowing the lawn and stuff like that and doing physical activities throughout the day. You know, I practice other dances, I practice other things and I do other dances. So it's just a combination of those things and developing these healthy habits on a regular basis. It's the difference that makes the difference in your life and beyond. So the next stretch, we're gonna stretch out our ankle, our, our ankle muscles simply by just doing circles like this, like how we started earlier with the wrist. 
So you go left and right, back and forth like that. All right, so here, do some circles. Do about 10 or so circles one way, 10 the other way. And then from here, we're going to stretch our calf muscle, but this also stretches out the ankle, the Achilles tendon, so on and so forth. And it helps the circulation in the legs and helps stretch out the back of the leg. So a nice, good stretch like that. If it's too easy, then just go a little bit more angle and you should feel the intensity of that stretch. And this helps prepare you for the day because when you walk, you never know where you're gonna step. So you could twist your ankle very easily. Doing this will prevent that. And if it does happen, it won't hurt as bad or you won't hurt yourself. I've, I've stepped on uneven ground so many times and I'm grateful for these stretches and these strengthening exercises because it prepares me. And you know, therefore I'm not breaking my ankle. I'm not spraining my ankle because I prepare myself for it. You know, and I, it's, it's all part of strength training, training your core, everything like that. Wow, I'm sweating pretty good from that first exercise. Like I said, I went for a jog today before the class. I was already going and right on. Motion is the lotion for your joints. There you go. Good job, Ruben. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to continue on now with a few more stretches and then we should, uh, we'll get back into some, some more dancing. I've got a few uh, dancing tricks and techniques for you to do as well. So this one, you basically just pull your own leg. This also stretches the top of the foot. It stretches the quadricep muscle, the hip muscle, all that combined into one, as well as doing these stretches and these strengthening exercises. They also build on your core and doing powwow dance aerobics with me on a daily basis is also a full body workout as I've been sharing all along because you work out your arms, you work out your shoulders, you work out your, your, your chest a little bit, work out your core muscles, work out your legs. You get all those muscle groups all combined all into one. And, you know, I do this free every day. So, you know, whether you guys join me or not, all it costs is your time, you know. So thank you for your time. As always, you know, if you're a powwow dancer, you know, you, you, should, you should be doing this every day, you know, especially if you want to keep power dancing for many, many years and want to get better at it, I imagine. You know, I, I always want to improve myself as a power dancer, and that's what I do. I, I practice before I go to powwows, and I'll practice some of the songs, and I'm sure, like, every power dancer's got their own little method of, of doing that, and, you know, that's that's why I'm, you know, grateful to share mine, and, you know, I do it for, for free all the time. So, yeah, i got a couple more stretches here. And then we're gonna move along into some powwow dancing exercises. For those of you that wanna join and get the heart rate going, this is always the best time to do it in the mornings. You know, when I was first starting hoop dancing, you know, the elders told me, you know, like if you really wanna take this seriously, if you really wanna become a master at it, when you wake up in the mornings, that's what you should be doing. You should be getting up and practicing and getting up and just working at it doing every little step that you can to make it happen as a dancer or anything like that you know like even if even if you want to learn guitar or something like that you know it's just the amount of effort you put into it and that commitment you got to make so anyways uh we're gonna get back into some powwow dancing i got some live powwow mixes as you know i don't use copyrighted music anymore because i don't want to infringe on anybody's copyright even though like, I'm within my rights to use copyrighted music on this channel. Either way, uh, I, you know, I don't want to cause any problems. And uh, you know, I, I enjoy dancing. I dance to most powwow groups. Northern Cree being one of my favorites. And Young Bear. I dance to all of them. Young Bear, Northern Cree, Young Spirits. Um, you know, just to name a few. Uh, I dance to Black Lodge, Blackstone, all those different drum groups. But I do that on my own private time. and. No, I can't, unfortunately, I can't put it on the video here because of copyright stipulations and whatever. Anyways, that's just the way the world goes sometimes. All right, I hope you guys are ready to dance. We're gonna do some combinations now. Some combinations that are really strength training exercises that I do here on a regular basis. Now, this is the time where you wanna bring out your weights. Now that we've warmed up and exercised, if you've got these little weights, these little dumbbells, this is only a two pounder, but if you have, these cool 
but I know that not everybody has access to these kind of resources. So I'm gonna give you a little life hack. You know, some I recommended in the past to use soup cans, but I'm also recommending using dictionaries. So there's the Cree word for the day. The way you say book in Cree is Masanaigan. That's the Cree word for, for book. So there's the Cree word for the day, Masanaigan. So if I say it's my book, Ni Masanaigan, my book, okay? So there's the Cree word for the day. And you know, I'm always pushing myself to learn more Cree myself. So by all means, if you've got some words to share in Cree, I'm always open to that. And uh, you know, right on, thanks for joining. Good morning, I'm feeling nice and limber and ready to go. So grab your dictionaries because power dancers, we carry 10 to 20, maybe 30, even 40 pounds of extra weight. So that's what I'm trying to simulate here. This is a full body workout. So I hope you guys are ready because I'm ready to give it, ready to dance. Okay, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three.
There's a big difference when you don't have an outfit to when you do have an outfit. And as for that, there's a different rhythm that can be found in the dancing. So when you're wearing an outfit, the outfit moves a certain way. So you kind of have to learn to move with that momentum of things. It's like dancing in water, you know, when you're dancing in water, you have to go with the motion of the, of the water. And you'll see in the dancing, now that I have my props, I have my fancy dance whips, you're gonna see a big difference in how I'm going to dance now. So that's why a lot of times when I'm dancing, you might see me move a certain way. And you know, there's a big difference from fancy dancing to hoop dancing, to grass dancing, to traditional dancing. You know, the ladies dances, when ladies are doing the jingle dance, that dress bounces and there's weight to that. So you have to be able to go with that, that bounciness of that outfit. So now let's get into it. And I'm going to, if you don't have props, then, you know, I definitely uh, encourage you to grab something. Even if you want to do traditional dance, you can even grab a shovel like this. And you can dance like this. Dance with your with your feather, with your shovel, your staff. So there's all kinds of things you can use for props. Practice, practice. Okay, so now we're gonna do my whips now. So fancy dancers, a lot of times we spin. crow hop I find is have you ever seen a crow hop have you ever seen a raven or a crow or a bird and you got to watch them and that's kind of the best crow hopping comes from that and you know it's like you're imitating nature you're imitating a bird you know you're you're becoming and you know like you ever seen kung fu and, and all that you know you watch kung fu panda you notice how like every animal has their own skill a fighting skill and you know you got a bird that's doing like a bird style or you got a, a bear that's doing the bear style and you know there, you see that in powwow you see different people with their animal spirits come to life and it's so amazing to watch that so you know i just wanted to share that there's this one bear dancer out there she's amazing uh her name is uh Laura Grizzly Paws. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen her before. She's been featured on a lot of different videos, but it's just amazing what they can do and how people just bring things to life. So the best way to do a crow hop is just to hop along like you're an actual crow or like you're, like you're a bird. And you know, like there's different styles of crow hops, but definitely uh, something to keep in mind when you're doing that. Okay, crow hop time. Turn this up. 
good, such a good way to stay in shape. Such a good way to work out. So now that we got nice and sweaty, and I went through the whole routine. Basically, if you ever want to do this on your own, you just put on a whole CD of your favorite drum group, Blackstone, Black Lodge, or Whitefish Juniors, or you know Midnight Express, or Jay uh, Hey Nakoda, Walking Buffalo, Red Bull. Just a few groups to mention there. Also High Noon. Or uh, Flying Eagle or Seagoskutch or geez man there's so many of them there's War Scout um, there's the Yellow Tail or Yellow Bird Singers there's just so many of them so anyways now's the cool down part now we got the heart racing and going and pumping the cool down is just as important as the warm up the stretch and the exercise itself so just like a horse at the races, you gotta cool your body down now and bring your heart rate back to a comfortable resting level. And at powwows, if we're at a powwow and they just finished dance contest, this is where snagging opportunities happen. When a dancer walks off the floor and walks around the arbor, that's when that's when you could potentially get snagged and find your future wife or Vice versa. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I would throw that in there and have a little fun with it. Now, I'm wondering how virtual snagging happens on social distance powwow. Anybody got any ideas how that works? Because, I don't know, I wonder if it actually happens. Virtual snagging on uh, social distance powwow. I don't know, maybe drop, drop it in the comments. Let me know if uh, it actually happens or not, you know? Uh, me, I'm not, I'm not snaggable, by the way. <laughs> so you can't be snagging me. So I got a girlfriend. So, ladies, just uh, you know, it's it's nice to have you here, but I'm only here for the genuine purpose of sharing this powwow dance aerobics program. And the reason why is just for wellness, just for health, to promote that. And we need more of that in our First Nations communities. We need to promote that always. So, you know, I'm not here to be snagged because I'm already snagged. I already got a beautiful girlfriend and, you know, we love each other and we have, we have everything we need. And most importantly, we're both happy and in love with each other. So that's all good. So maybe you guys uh, can find your virtual snag on the social distance powwow and you can show off your dancing skills or whatever or you know do do dancing videos or write each other some poems or sing each other some songs tell each other some stories all right so remember this is the cool down so regardless of you guys that are commenting and all that i still want people to dance because look at i'm doing intertribal style dancing with that basic step we're going back to the basic step because this is the cool down right I don't want my get get my medallion all sweaty. Oh yeah, and I'd like to give a shout out to Roberta May Smith. She's the one who made this and gifted this to me. She's a Blackfoot woman. She also does orders for beadwork, so look her up. She's on Facebook, Roberta May Smith. And I just want to give a shout out to her and to all the beaters out there. If you're a beater, shout out to you as well. And thank you for your craftsmanship and your hard work and all that you know wow i just have to get this off and wow it's just you know because i make sure i sweat while i'm doing my workout get a good sweat going on and that's where you're able to sweat out your toxins and get everything out all right make that feather dance hey it's like a hand game style dance awesome so Hope you guys are having a good day out there, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. And remember, you know, like what I was talking about earlier, you know, powwow is a lot of things. And one of the things that we have to always pay attention to is making that connection with the land, you know. A lot of times when I go to powwows, 
I always make a tobacco offering before I even go into the dance area or whenever I'm going uh, to other people's communities I always say a little prayer for the community members and for, for safe passage and peaceful peaceful passage in that area so you know I just thought uh, I would share that about and reflect on as today's topic came up you know like when you you can you can work smart work hard and also when you play you can play smart and play hard but most importantly smart and safe and just got to be safe out there because you know part of that safety though is having that relationship with the land and having that respect with the land you know like so for example you know don't leave your garbage behind and all that stuff and you know i see people all the time like they forget those things those little things do count you know that's what is the difference that makes the difference that makes the world a better place at the end of the day and sometimes i even catch myself picking up other people's stuff and you know sometimes that's what you got to do you know maybe it's for all the stuff you've dropped in your life and that's what i'm picking up for and you know all these things are lessons and blessings along the way so right on I see you guys are having, still having fun with the virtual snagging, hey? Just got it in your head now, eh? <laughs> uh, you guys are wondering what snagging is? For those of you that don't know what snagging is, that's, uh, I guess that's the, the old school powwow way of Tinder. If you know what Tinder is, Tinder's a dating app. <laughs> I, I've, I've never personally won on it because, you know, I'm not... I, I, I'm old school, I'm, you know, I gotta see the person I'm, you know, like, with. I, I believe in divine timing and the universe always responds to your best intentions. You know, like the song by Justin Bieber, you know, intentions, your best intentions, your best foot forward. So, if you guys want to go virtual snagging, then, hey, check it out on the social distance powwow page. You might find your future wife or husband over there. And, um, you know, either way, it's good to check out for the cultural purposes. And, you know, I just thought I'd have a little fun today and share that. <laughs> and, you know, I, I always, uh, I always say, you know, like, it's all about fun, you know. Life's too short to be so serious. And laughter's the best medicine. So, <laughs> I'm glad you guys had some good laughs out of the virtual snagging thing I just shared. And, you know, it's just, it's just kind of funny when we talk about that. It's like, <laughs> You know, oh man. <clears throat> Sometimes I talk too much and say too much, but um, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I'm I'm not censored here. I don't have anybody really telling me to do this class. I do it because I love it, and I do it volunteer every day. This is what I love to do, and this is a part of my life, and it's helped me. It's saved my life. Dancing literally saved my life. So I just wanted to say that. All right, all right, awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day out there though, no matter what, you know. That's pretty much the end of today's program. You know, I try to keep it short. I try to shorten it a little bit more each time, but it seems like I always go for a whole hour. So right on, thanks for joining today. Today was a really good workout and you know, I feel really good after this. I feel like rejuvenated, illuminated and replenished all of that you know i'm ready to take on the day and you know it's just beautiful you know another beautiful blessed day you know every day above ground is always a good day you know and i'm always grateful for every day that i have and you know every day is a blessing so i just want to say that and uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to uh subscribe to my youtube channel yet i am almost there i'm almost at a thousand so i need about 160 more subscriptions so uh, if 88 of you live viewers subscribe to my channel, then I'm halfway there. So uh, if you have, uh, thank you so much for sub your subscription. Uh, it's definitely appreciated. As you know, I'm trying to go live on another platform, which is YouTube, because I know not everybody has Facebook and I respect that. That's fine. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to force anybody into Facebook, but uh, your uh, subscriptions would be appreciated and definitely valued and we're, we're I'm just trying to push this channel forward and and just make it more available to more people on more platforms for free you know I do this for the price of 
free 99 all right <laughs> so um yeah if you find this message of value or this video of value please share it with your friends also hit the like button on the dallas official dallas arcan page this page that we're on as well uh, i appreciate all your comments and i'll get to them as soon as i can and the most timely fashion as i can and other than that uh, you guys have a beautiful day keep fit have fun stay safe out there and we'll catch you later i'm back here tomorrow again 7 30 as promised and um yeah i pretty much don't have anything else to say for the day other than we'll catch you later and peace out